Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back in our vehicle, which is a VTOL. As you guys can see, it is actually working now. Our engines do actually work, it does fly, and it flies quite well. Uh, and essentially today, what we're going to do is work on the cockpit and a little bit of the interior detail. I want it to look a little bit nicer on the inside, so that is our job today. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so this is of course our cockpit right here. Today we're actually going to try and, uh, I guess I'm going to angle a bunch of this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and figure out where this goes to. This is our fuel and that is our battery. So I'm actually going to delete this guy and I'm going to delete that guy. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this uh, from here all the way over to here, if I can. There we go, all of those guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut those. I'm going to move them slightly upwards. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over and leave them just like... I guess just like this. There we go, we'll go ahead and paste those there. From there, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a pivot. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, robotic pivot. Uh, and essentially, we're gonna go ahead and shove that into there like this. Now, I know that's a little bit strange, but it's kind of what I want. We're then gonna go ahead and put this on here as well, and we're also gonna put this on here, uh, which might be a little bit weird, uh, but hopefully we can make something kind of cool out of this. I think we will be able to. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a dial. Yes! Uh, this is gonna go on either side of this one. There's one, and there is two. If I can turn this around, there we go. Uh, and the other thing that I'm gonna do is actually uh, cut this one and paste it just like so. Good. I'm then gonna do the exact same thing on this side, so cut it and paste it. And I'm gonna merge this guy with this guy. Uh, if I can merge it down, that'd be great. For some reason, it doesn't really wanna let me, but that's okay. Go to the other side, do the same thing, and this guy in the middle is going to be connected to there. Okay, this might be really weird. In fact, actually, that one in the middle is not going to do anything. <laughs> the one in the middle is not going to do any- it's the other way around. I've built this the wrong way around. Delete that, delete this, and delete these guys. Okay, and then what we're going to have to do is this. Okay, so, uh, go into here, go ahead and attach it to the side piece. Yes. We need to get ourselves a pivot, and yeah, we need to attach it onto there like, kind of like this, there you go. So attach that onto there like that, then what we're going to do is attach this onto here like this. Then we're going to go ahead and merge this guy with this guy. We're going to merge this guy with, ah, uh, no, with this guy, there we go, and this guy with this guy, and now we're good. Okay, so, we need numbers. Yeah, we do. We need an actual number uh, that could go into this. Um, don't know where it needs to be, but let's go ahead and delete this one, this one, and this one. There's one, two, and three. Okay, excellent. So this is gonna be 0.5. There we go. This is gonna be 0.5 as well, but it's gonna be minus. And then the one in the middle is gonna be 0.2, and hopefully this all works. So this is gonna attach on to this guy. No. Have I done it wrong again? I've done it wrong again. Delete that guy. Delete these guys. Grab one of those. Attach it onto there like this. There you go. Then attach this piece into here like this. Merge this guy. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. This guy with this guy. There we go. Okay, so this attaches to there. Excellent. Constant number right here attaches to this one. Constant number right here attaches to this one. Go. Is this going to work? Is it not going to work? I'm not sure. I don't know what's going to go on here. Oh, yeah, that's worked. Okay, so it needs to be a minus number for the middle one. Uh, e, 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 minus number for the middle one, and then actually probably a normal number for this one, go. That does mean that we only need a 0 0.5 once, but that's fine. So there we go, like a little bit weird, uh, but it will uh, sort of work. Maybe not 0 0.5 either, maybe a little bit less. So we'll actually go with 0 0.1 on that one, and on these guys, we're going to go with 0 0.4. 0.35? Yeah, 0.35 will work. And I'm actually just going to go and delete this guy on this side. It is unnecessary to have it, so why have it? Attach this guy to there. Spawn it in. Let's try this again. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, so we can get to the dial. That's okay. We can get to this one as well. That's fine. And we can also put things underneath here if we need to. In fact, actually, what I will do is I'm going to add some key buttons underneath these. And these are going to be to start the engines. I think that would actually be kind of cool. So key... Let's go ahead and shove that onto there like so. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to go ahead and attach those to the engines. So I'll quickly do that, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so I think I've done it. Let's go ahead and test out, see if it is actually working. So we'll go to the inside. Here we go. Sit in the little seats. Go ahead and do this. And 
That seems to have started the engine. Yeah, okay, I guess that works. That's fantastic. Good. Uh, the other thing that I actually really want in here is some... Um, wait, can I delete these guys? Yes, I can. I'm going to go ahead and actually add some monitors in there, at least one. Uh, and we'll add some, like, lights. Not lights. We'll add some... Um, We'll add some cameras around this thing so that we can add, like, I don't know, it'll look cool. It will actually look kind of cool. So, uh, we'll go ahead and add some little monitors to the sides of there. There we go. Awesome. So, now we'll have a front camera on the underside. Uh, we'll actually go ahead and push, put it right in here. So, uh, camera, yes. Go ahead and grab this guy. In fact, delete this one right here. Delete that one right there. Flip it over. Turn it around. And smash it into there. That's good. Okay. Uh, field of view, we're not going to do anything with. But, let's go ahead and get the video and attach it straight to this one. Okay, as for the other cameras on the other sides, let's go ahead and grab these guys, and I don't know where I want to point them, but I, I think sideways, um, and maybe sideways and down a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, so grab ourselves one of these, there we go, awesome, we're going to attach it onto here like this, uh-huh, uh-huh. Actually, on both sides, please. Delete that one and that one. Go ahead and smash that onto there like so. And a little camera could go on the side like... Uh... Like this. There we go. Whether that's gonna look nice or not, I'm not sure. Uh, but it doesn't have to be too much there. So that's okay. Anyway, this one's gonna go on this side. That one's gonna go on that side. And we're actually gonna go ahead and attach the constant number to there and there. And let's see if it works. Are they gonna point upwards or downwards? Downwards! Nice! It's actually worked. Fantastic. So... Uh, we need to be able to turn those on, so let's go ahead and do something with that. And then from there, we'll be good to go. Um, in fact, how do I want it to turn those on? If I delete that, I can't I can't delete that. Um, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know how I want to be able to turn those on. So we'll get a button, and we'll shove it in here somewhere, but I don't know... I don't, I don't know where it should be. Um, I feel like it should be up there with them. So what I might actually do is delete this guy. And just whack it in there, and then we can attach it to this one, this one, and this one. And I think that'll be okay. I I'm assuming, anyway. So now we go inside. Do, 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 do. There we go. Go ahead and press this button. All the cameras turn on. That's down to the left. That's down to the right. And this is underneath us in front. Yeah. Okay, I think that's okay. Good. Okay, so what else would you actually want inside of here? Let's get ourselves some seating. I feel like that is sort of very important in these situations. So we're just going to go ahead and do something like this. Go ahead and drag it all the way to the edge. Uh, do that one there and do these guys right here as well. Uh, down to there if we can. Bosh. And we're also just going to go ahead and do this guy too. Again, because we can. Uh, I'm also just going to attach this guy as well. Uh, up to there and we'll get ourselves some seats. Smash those in. Hopefully they'll look okay. And there we go. Okay, good. The other thing we need is manifolds and actual tanks. So, tank. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get these. I'm going to go ahead and smash those into there. There's one, two, and three. Four, five, and six. And we're going to go ahead and paint those as well. Uh, but I'll do that after. On the other side, I think what I'll do is actually some uh, equipment. Because I think that makes sense. And we can go from there. So, equipment. We need a fire extinguisher, of course. Uh, first aid kits. One, two, and three. We're then going to have to have one of these guys. Which is fine to go there, I suppose. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm also going to have uh, one of these guys, and I'm also going to have some ammunition for it as well. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and attach this guy onto here like this. We'll do this one onto there as well, and we'll seal that off across the top. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? I guess the floor itself should change color, so let's go ahead and make that gray. I am actually just going to leave it that gray. That's probably fine. Um, I'm then going to go from there backwards, and I'm going to do this kind of thing. There we go. I'm going to go to the other side, do the exact same thing across there, and I'm also going to grab the color of the floor in here and paint it on the other side. Bosh. I'm also going to delete all of these guys because they don't need to be here, and hopefully uh, this will be okay. I think it will be in the end. I think it'll be okay. Uh, so now that we've done that then, uh, it's starting to look quite good. I want to use the Soviet color I usually use on the interiors of things, uh, on the interior of this, I know it might not look amazing. I know that. But, it might also look pretty cool. So, I'm just going to go ahead and use it anyway. And hopefully you guys do actually like it in the end. Whether you will or whether you won't, I'm unsure. But, we'll see. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and paint all of these guys in here. Let's paint this bit and this bit. 
this bit and this bit. And I guess the rear wall as well, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of the paint on the top of this though. So I don't think that's too necessary. Uh, and I think that looks awesome. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this on the outside. All of that on the outside too. And make sure all of this bit is painted properly as well. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues. But yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, let me know in the comments down below whether you guys actually like the color of these uh, these interiors. I, I think it's kind of interesting. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, but yeah, you guys might think the very much opposite of that. But um, it doesn't matter, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, I'm no good with interiors. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint this brown. I'm going to paint these guys brown. And these seats right here are going to be gray. Um... So we're going to go ahead and paint that in all the way around. Paint that. Oh. I hate when, like, there's collision boxes on things in this game and you can't actually sort of get past them unless you fly into them. Um, it's kind of annoying. In fact, it's very, very annoying. But we're going to go through all of these guys, hopefully painting all of them, and that'll be okay. Which it was. So there you go. Um, right. Do, 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 do. Give me that color. Go ahead and paint all of those. Give me this again, and paint all this sides. There we go. And that is looking awesome. Yes. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and paint this bit too. And this bit, and this bit, and that bit, and that bit. <laughs> Essentially, every bit that we can see uh, needs painting. So let's go ahead and do all of these guys. Grab the green. I'm going to do this and this. Although that's not necessarily true. That's not really how I want it to be, is it? It's not. It's not. But that's fine for now. Um, and okay, that's all in. That is all in. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Okay, excellent. Yeah. All right, so let's say that that's the front end sort of done. We still need to add lights to this thing, so let's go ahead and get some of those. And uh, add them around the inside. So light, yes. We're going to go ahead and shove it directly in the middle behind the pilot, so it doesn't blind you when you're flying. Um, and go ahead and paint the roof too. Bosh. Okay, excellent. Uh, this light is actually going to be controlled via a button that is going to be strapped to the light. So we're going to do this. Go ahead and paint that guy like so. Change the color of this light to be brown. Actually, we're in a spaceship kind of vehicle. We're going to make it blue. Uh, and we're going to make it this blue. Okay, cool. Uh, the button itself is going to be white. Attach that directly to there. Let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what kind of lighting we get from that one singular light. So, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go ahead and change this to nighttime. We can't really see because we are lit up inside of here, but I think it'll be enough light. Maybe. Okay, so, as for the backside, let's go ahead and start filling in this bit right here, fill in this little bit right here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and do that too. I'm then going to go ahead and connect this together like so, connect that together like so, and that's fine. So we can leave that pretty much as is, um, and I don't think we'll have any issues with it. From there, what do we need to do? Um, I guess we need some lights in this area. I'm also going to get some rocket boosters. And I'm going to attach all of this together. So let's get ourselves some gray. Attach it from there to here. That's going to look awesome. We're going to go from there to there. We're going to go from here to here. And we're going to go from there into there. Okay. Same with this little bit right here as well. Bosch and Bosch. Okay. Excellent. Might look a little bit weird for now, but that's fine. Okay. Sides. Um, I guess we shouldn't really have the sides open. But um, I can't help it. I'm going to. So, one and two. There we go. Go from there up to here. That actually doesn't look too bad. How far out are we? Three from there. So, one, two, three. Bosh, bosh. Go from here upwards into there. And that's okay. It looks a little bit strange, but uh, again, I think it works. So, there you go. Okay, fantastic. What else do we need, guys? What else do we need? Um, colors are kind of very important on this thing. Like, they're extremely important on this thing. Um... But I'm not entirely sure what color I want things to be. So yeah. Even though they're important, I still don't know what I want. Uh, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, let's go and paint all these guys in here like this. I think that'll be nice. And everything else, I think it might end up actually be, 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 be gray. It might all be gray. In fact, let's go ahead and change all the interior to this. That's fine. Every little bit of the interior is going to look like this. Um, it's going to take me forever to actually jug this in, but hopefully in the end, uh, it'll actually look really nice. So there's all that. There's all this. Let me know what you think of this color too. I, I kind of like it. I don't know why. I don't know what makes me like this because 
It isn't really a color I would have normally chosen, but in this situation, I feel like it's totally right. I don't know why, though. I don't know why. Is it painting the outside? It's like Buffalo Airways green. If you guys know what Buffalo Airways is. Uh, cool. <laughs> cool. All right, here we go. Go ahead and paint all of that and do this. There we go. Okay, not too bad at all. Yeah, definitely not too bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and drag this in like this. Drag that bit in like that. Same with this piece, same with this piece, same with the bottom, same with the top, and that's all good. Uh, do this bit as well, do this little bit as well, and I'm going to do these guys, because I can. Uh, do this side as well. There's a lot to do on this, isn't there? There's a crazy amount of work to, uh, just to paint something. It's, it's insane. Alright, paint that like so. Oh, no. I just want to paint this side. I don't know how to just... Hey, there we go. Okay, excellent. But it doesn't have to be that color. It has to be this color. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to drag that bit too. Excellent. And all of this actually needs changing back to that. Uh, because reasons. So there you go. I can't have any of this green on the outside. I really don't want it. So I'm going to try and change it all back to be white for now. Uh, the outside is going to change color too, but I don't know what to just yet. Uh, all that's done. Excellent. Uh, so now we need to go to the interior. We need to change the color of the roof. Um, but we need to do that kind of, um, one bit at a time, which is a little bit upsetting spaghetti, but it's kind of how it has to be. So I'm going to be back in a second once I've done this. Okay, we're all green on the inside now. So, uh, there is bits that I do want to change on the bottom of this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. Uh, I'm going to modify all of this bottom section to look like so. In fact, actually, no. Let's do this bit in the outside color, because it will be sort of on the outside. Do that bit like so, and this will be like a water line um, that follows it all the way around. And that seems pretty good. Let's then do these guys right here. Do that all the way down to the end, do it all the way backwards, and that's pretty good. Okay, excellent. Yes. So, let's say I wanted to change the white color to something else. What would it be? Freddy Red. That looks, it makes things look so ugly when we do that. It really does. Uh, how about like a more gray color? And then we can put some like accents on that uh, that are red and and so on. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do this guy right here. There we go. Do that up to there. Do a little bit more lines right there. I'm not very good with detailing. I don't know whether you guys already knew that. I'm assuming you guys did. Uh, if you've watched my channel before, you would know. Uh, but I suck at detailing. I, I really do. Trying to make things look nice in this game is not something I'm good at. Alright, there we go. Do this. There we go. Go to the top. Paint that one and that one. And we're also just going to go ahead and paint this this color too. Okay. Is that weird? Is it weird? Is it? Is it? It is. A little bit. A little bit, but that's okay. Um, right, we're also going to go ahead and paint some of the wings in that color too. But the fronts of the wings are actually going to be painted like this. Because it actually makes them look really good. So, make sure we jug that. There we go. Do this one. There we go. And we're going to do this one too. And that makes it look way better. And then I'm also going to change these guys uh, to be the same. So, that's going to go like that. We're then going to go ahead and do all of this on the side. All of this on this side. And that looks awesome. Yeah. Guys, this actually looks pretty good. Alright, paint this bit and paint this bit. Actually, no, leave them. Leave them as they are. And that's good. Spawn it in. What does that look like? Make it daytime! Okay. It looks a bit odd. I don't know how I feel about it, but for now, that's okay. Right. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more detailing on the outside as well. We're going to go ahead and paint these guys uh, on the outside a different color. So, we're going to do this. Along the interior bit. Uh, just like so. Um, which includes a lot of this, actually. So, most of this is going to be this color. Um, we're going to bring this out on bits where we can. And we're going to paint these guys in this color. So that's going to be like that. This guy's going to be like this. And actually all the way around these pieces, uh, we'll do it this way as well. Just so it looks like it's continued on. Uh, and it actually looks okay, which it does. So that's fine. There we go. Paint this little bit. Go with these guys as well. All the way around the top of this. And into there. Go backwards. And all the way into there as well. Okay, I won't do any more than that, like going around the back of the plane. I don't think we need to do that, but we will go around the front of this all the way around, and that's okay. All right, good. We did it. 
I think it looks ugly now. I actually don't like it anymore. Which is so annoying, but it's because I can't paint things. Painting things is half of the job. It really is. It really, really is. But you know what? That's okay. So we'll leave this pretty much as is. Let's go ahead and add some spotlights to this thing on the outside. And uh, hopefully it looks good in the end. So we'll do these guys right here like this. That allows us to see forwards. They do look a little bit ugly, but that's fine. Um, but yeah. Okay, cool. We've painted things. Okay, so uh, for now then, let's just go ahead and try and attach these guys um, together a little bit uh, using stuff like this. And that might be okay. It might not be okay. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm really bad with detailing, so we're just going to leave it in, in certain situations just as it is. Um, and we're going to hope that that's okay. Uh, which, yeah, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But I can't really do much about that, so there you go. Anyway, paint these guys, there we go. We're going to go around this side, paint this, continue. Even that piece right there. This needs painting as well. And then we need to do this. There we go. Okay, yeah. I think I've made it look way worse by actually painting the outside. Uh, the way that I have. So, I might try and come up with a different design. Um, the other thing that I really wanted to do today as well. Is to actually, like, delete these. And add catalytic converters. Uh, because it is so, like, smoky. Uh, it's ridiculous. So, I'm going to go ahead and put those in there. I'm actually going to delete this, this guy. I'm going to put one here. There we go. And I'm also going to actually... Um, Oh no, that's it. So that's as many as I can sort of have without it poking out, but I'm just going to go ahead and have it poke out anyway, and then we can have the exhaust uh, on the end of that. Yes. One, two, and three. I don't mind the fact that it sticks out so much, so we'll keep it. Delete this, delete this, delete this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the extra one uh, that acts as a double, I guess, right here, just like so. Okay, excellent. Grab these guys, smash them onto here. One, two, and three. And there we go. Okay, if I done it on both sides, I have indeed. Let's see if it all still works, and we can go from there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The interior I actually really like in this color. Even though it looks very strange, I do like it. Anyway, sit in the seat, go ahead and turn this on. That sounded like it wasn't going to work, but then I think it has started. Yep, eventually they do start. I don't have my fuel connected to this, and I don't have speed or altitude or anything like that. But I will add those across here. Anyway, let's go. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Holy! I don't think I broke anything there, somehow. I must have. I don't have any controls for up and down anymore, and I don't know why. What have I changed? What have I broken? Guys, I broke something. Have I deleted something in a fuel tank? I don't think I did. Fuel tanks are still there. I added a camera here. But that didn't that didn't disrupt anything, did it? I don't think so. We've painted it, and that's it. I don't know what we've done in order to break this, but I think we've broken it. Okay, hang on. Let's go ahead and check if our fuel is still connected. And we'll go from there. So fluid level, go ahead and connect it up to there. These guys are all connected anyway, so they should start. And that's it. I don't know why it's not working. Alright, here we go. Check if we've got fuel. That's the only thing that I can think of. We do have fuel. Oh no, that isn't the only thing. It's not. Because mm -mm -mm -mm. I did do something with this, but this does still work fine, doesn't it? Up and down currently doesn't do anything because it's not connected to something. Up and down doesn't do anything because it's not connected to something. What is it not connected to? No, it should be fine. It should be fine because it's done not through the inside but done through... Um, it's done through comp uh, composite data, no? I think so. I've broken it, but I don't know how. Bit of a yikes. Little bit of a yikes. Okay, start all the engines. I have very little control. I say that. I've got no control.
Zero control, guys. Zero. Why have I got no control? The only thing that I've changed, actually, is infinite fuel, isn't it? I've broken it. Ah, I have actually not broken it. Uh, this needs to be on at all times. I need a constant on signal. Uh, yes, so I wasn't actually turning it on because I was no longer pressing 1 to start the engines. I was no longer pressing 1 to do anything. So, go ahead and put this into there. Go ahead and paste it there like so. Attach this guy to this guy, and now it is automatically on. It should actually work, and we should be able to fly the boost. Okay, inside we go. Do this, and do this, this. This and this. Slowly but surely, everything will start, so we can then get this thing out of here, and we can get it moving. Okay, into the sky we go. There we go, okay, excellent. Move ourselves out of here forwards, go ahead and lift up our landing gear so we are further away from the ground. And move our way out, okay. I mean, it is working. It doesn't look terrible, so I guess that's good. But there, oh. There we go. We've got outside. Excellent. And we've got no exhaust. So that's good, too. Perfect. Okay, so. Now let's say we want to turn on our light. Bosh! We got a light. Nice. Let's go ahead and travel forwards. It works. It actually works fine. Alright, good. So, we give it a little bit of interior detail. We've given it a little bit of exterior detail. What I'm going to do now is... I'm going to spend some of my own time trying to paint the outside of this thing a little bit nicer. And then we'll do another video where we add guns to this. Because I did say it was military. So we're going to add some guns. And maybe this bay right here could be a different kind of bay to the bay that we've been making it be a bay of. Does that make any sense to you guys? Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think that means. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching whatever the heck this was. And I'll see you guys in the next one where hopefully uh, this thing will look a hell of a lot nicer. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.